major development in that shocking $200 million lawsuit filed by Limp Bizkit against Universal Music Group earlier this year, where they make the stunning allegation that the band hadn't made any money off of their record deal in decades, despite how many albums they've sold, until they launched an investigation earlier this year by their new team. Now UMG has responded, and their response is interesting to say the least. Here is everything we know about this situation with Limp Bizkit's massive lawsuit. Limp Bizkit has sold an estimated 45 million albums, and they're in the midst of a major resurgence, set to play stadiums supporting Metallica next year. And many longtime Limp Bizkit fans, myself included, were shocked to learn that the band reportedly hadn't made any money off of their record deal until they started an investigation earlier this year. And according to their lawsuit, they allege it's all part of a scheme to make UMG richer and the artists they've signed not getting their fair share. And now, Universal Music Group has responded to the lawsuit, denying the allegations. According to the suit, even this year alone, Limp Bizkit is expected to rack up almost 800 million streams. Over the years, Fred Durst had reportedly tried to find out why the band wasn't making money from their music, but alleges that UMG said they hadn't been paying him royalties or giving him updates on the payment since his account was still so far from recoupment. But Durst would dispute that his music was far from recoupment. It was this past April when the band hired new representation and they began an investigation to understand why the band hadn't received royalty payments. First, they discovered that UMG never alerted the band to a payment amount to just over $1 million. The company would claim that it was due to a software error. All told, this year UMG did release $1.03 million to the band and $2.3 million to his Flawless Records label. But Fred and his legal team insist that UMG has been engaged in fraudulent accounting practices in an effort to avoid paying bands what they are owed. The complaint said, UMG's creation of such a system, while holding itself out as a company that prides itself on investing in and protecting its artists, make plaintiff's discovery of UMG's scheme all the more appalling and unsettling. The suit also wants UMG to void Limp Bizkit's recording contract, letting the band gain ownership of their songs. Elsewhere in the complaint, it says, Given the vast amounts of money collected by UMG in relation to sales of Limp Biscuits and Flawless Records albums over the years, UMG is liable to plaintiffs for tens of millions of dollars in copyright infringement, if not more. Indeed, plaintiffs allege that the amounts owed to them by UMG following the rescission of these agreements will easily surpass $200 million. Now, there were a lot of interesting aspects to this case, including how difficult it appeared to be for Limp Bizkit to even find out how much money that was still left on their record deal or how much money was brought in by the band. When we pay bills, we can instantly see the balance due, how much we're owed, it's very easy. And for a company like UMG allegedly not having any sort of system to show you easily, like on your phone instantly, how much is left on your record deal, how much money you're bringing in is quite shocking if that is indeed to be true. But now UMG is responding and they're asking for the case to be thrown out. And here's their explanation. Universal Music Group is asking for the case to be dismissed because they say that they paid Limp Biscuit the amount that was due to them. Remember, Fred Durst is disputing that amount to begin with. As mentioned, after years of trying to find out where they stood in relation to their record deal, they finally launched that investigation earlier this year with the new representation, and UMG would release a little over a million dollars to the band and 2.3 million to Durst's former label Flawless Records. But Universal Music Group denies all of that. They claim the allegations were, quote, based on a fallacy. As Rolling Stone reports, they said, UMG said that the dispute started with the director at the company reaching out to Limp Bizkit's manager over email, seeking to set up a vendor profile so the band could get their recording royalties. The business manager had told the UMG director that most of the band members had sold off their royalty shares. But over a year later, he emailed again, clarifying he was referring to publishing royalties, not the recordings. UMG said the email communications which they included in their reply, eviscerate the fraud claims. Now, with UMG requesting that dismissal, it'll be interesting to see how the judge rules on this case because it could have major implications for other artists. I mean, it sounds really hard for a musician to find out how much money they've made and how to get paid and all of that stuff. And the fact that Limp Bizkit 
essentially has only made $3 million from their record deal over the course of their entire career, if these claims are correct, to me is shocking. And we'll have to see why that is the case. But they're also asking to see the records for the money that Limp Bizkit has made throughout their career. And there's no word on that yet. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on this. Something tells me this is far from over. And again, it could have major ramifications for other artists with the suit claiming that Many other artists have been subject for these kind of practices. So interesting stuff. We'll have to see. And by the way, I just found out Rockfeed was nominated for Best Metal News Source at the Nick Nocturnal Awards. If you'd like to vote for Rockfeed, hit the link in the description. I would really appreciate it. See ya.